What is up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Jeff Benjamin with iDownload Blog. We're going to talk about all the new tweaks that were recently released. The first tweak is AB Copy Text. This is a jailbreak tweak that's free on the Big Boss repo that allows you to copy text in Alien Blue, which is a Reddit client. Normally, you couldn't do this with AB Copy Text. Now you can. Afterlock is a new jailbreak tweak available for free on the Big Boss repo as well, and this allows you to set a specific interval of time after you lock your device to execute an activator action. So five seconds after I lock my device, it should go into airplane mode. So I've locked my device, checking the status bar there, and there it is, airplane mode. That is afterlock. Next up is alert close. So this will provide you with a special little alert pop-up that allows you to do different things when you try to close apps from the app switcher. So I'm just gonna close this app here and then I get the little alert close menu so I can close, relaunch, or dismiss the switcher. The next one is battery flow. This allows you to customize your low battery alert. So if you're sick and tired of those alerts popping up and taking your focus away from the app that you're using, you can use battery flow to change all that. You can have banner notifications for battery alerts if you want to, or have your standard alert, or you can have none if you want to, uh, but you can customize this for the specific interval of battery remaining. Uh, so right here, I have it set to 40%. And I have pop-up options. You can give it its own title, um, its own message, et cetera, its own button name. You can make it emit a sound. You can make it vibrate, et cetera. So you see there, there is my custom low battery alert courtesy of Battery Flow. Very good jailbreak tweak for those of you who often run low on battery. Next up is Sir Doc, a $1.50 tweak on the Big Boss repo. This allows you to have a special doc. You see it's the circular doc there, but you can change the different animation types. You can also tap and hold in the dock area to switch between docks, just like that. So pretty cool jailbreak tweak at Sir Doc, $1.50. Next up, Control Pane allows you to have basically all settings in one place, courtesy of an activator gesture. So you have all your toggles and settings in one place. Next up is City Impactor. This is the jailbreak tweak of the year probably. Uh, I'm, I'm, no, I'm kind of jumping the gun here, but seriously, this is a jailbreak app that allows you to basically restore your device, even if it's jailbroken, to the same exact firmware that you're currently running. So if you restore 8.4, you get to stay on 8.4, even if Apple is no longer signing it. Next up is delay volume change. Now you really have to pay attention with this tweak. It's free on Big Boss, by the way, but let me just show you. So I have my device with delay volume change on the left and the one on the right does not. So watch what happens when I increase the volume. All right, you see it goes up on the one on the right, but the volume stays the same on the one on the left with delay volume change enabled. So this tweak forces you to show the display before the volume will actually change like that. Next up is Dissident, a $3 jailbreak tweak on the Big Boss repo that brings real true backgrounding to iOS. So I'm gonna to demonstrate to you how the backgrounding works here. You have global settings, you have individual settings. Global settings basically covers all tweaks, so you have native backgrounding, that's what you want it on, most likely. And then you can go in and change individual settings, so you can add apps to this, and then change the individual settings. You can make it a forced background if you want to, like I did with Safari. So what this allows us to do, I'm gonna show you here in just a second, there's some other options you can go in and do and configure if you wanna do that. But what this really allows you to do is to run apps in the background at all times if you want to. So here's a, a video. So I'm playing that video there. Now watch what happens on the home screen. What do you hear? The video's still playing. Lock my device. Video's still playing because it's truly backgrounded. So that is Dissident, a $3 jailbreak tweak available on CDS Big Boss Repo. Next up is Do Not Phase. This is actually a beta tweak. I'll have the beta link in the description. Basically, this allows you to have the current moon phase for your Do Not Disturb logo. You can see it there. That's the current moon phase. Can't give you the name of it, but that's what it is. Next up is Dock Bar for iPhone. This is a 99 cent jailbreak tweak that gives you this little launcher that works with Activator. Pretty nice. Next up, you have Elite, a free jailbreak tweak that allows you to color code your recent call log so you know quickly, just by looking at the colors, you have red, green, and blue, what type of call this actually was. Next up, you have a jailbreak tweak. This is more of a city centric tweak. It's called Fast Loading. It's free on Big Balls. And what this does is it disables app icon cache rebuilds for faster loading. 
Next up is I See Stars 2. Now this works in the stock music app. It's a free tweak. You see the little stars there? This is a playlist. It allows you to see your ratings right in your playlist. Next up, Lock Saver Free. This will disable certain features whenever you lock your device, such as Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So I'm gonna go into settings. You can see here, disable location services, disable Bluetooth, disable Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna lock my device now and show you what happens here. See, Wi-Fi gone, Bluetooth gone. Next up, lyrics for music. I love this tweak, it's really, really cool. This allows you to have lyrics for Apple Music. So even if you don't own these songs or you're just streaming Apple Music, you just tap on the now playing album artwork and there you go, all your lyrics right there. Next up, NC Floater, a free tweak, allows you to scale down the notification center and also round the corners as well, as you can see right here. Next up is No Bar Plus. Now, perhaps you've already seen this. This is a free tweak in Cydia, but you can see Cydia is running in full screen mode because it hides the status bar. Love this tweak. Next up is No Exploring, a free tweak on Big Boss that allows you to hide the Explore tab in the App Store app. So I'm gonna open up the App Store app. Notice only four tabs here. Explore tab is no longer there. Love this tweak as well. No Mini Icon Grid is a jailbreak tweak that hides the little icons that appear in the folders on your home screen. So you see that blank folder, tap on it, all your icons are there. Next up is Watchdog Light. This is another backgrounding tweak. Now this was the light version of Watchdog, which is much more robust, uh, but Watchdog Light basically allows you to uh, have backgrounding for up to two apps at a time. So you can see there, when you tap on the app icon in the app switcher, you enable backgrounding for those particular apps. But Watchdog Light is really, really limited. Obviously you can only use two apps and there are other features that you don't get as well with the light version as opposed to using the full fledged version. But the nice thing is that the light version is free. So keep that in mind. Roundification is a free tweak on the Big Boss repo that adds rounded corners to all sorts of different assets on your phone like the control center, notification center, even banner notifications it can make round. So watch this. I'm just gonna turn this off. See normal? Now you see round it. Next up is show all city updates. It's a jailbreak tweak that's free on the Big Boss repo that will turn on the show all changes switch and all of your applications, all the packages basically on city. So you see all the latest updates. Slim bars is a jailbreak tweak that's free. It slims down the navigation bar, the top nav navigation bar. It's a very subtle effect. You're not going to really notice it, but it does give a little bit of real estate back to your screen there. So you have more room for stuff below. Translucent Cydia is yet another free jailbreak tweak. This is a Cydia centric tweak that makes the install screen translucent so you can see through it. Um, the nice thing about this is that the install screen is normally just this bland black color with just white text on it. It's kind of boring. Well, with Translucent Cydia, you can spice it up a little bit. You see the translucent background right there for your install screen. Next is Weather Peak. This is a $1.99 jailbreak tweak that gives you a peek at your weather on the home screen, like this. Also in Spotlight Search, sort of like this. It also works on the lock screen as well. It's called Weather Peak. Last but not least is Whitelist Switcher, a 99 cent jailbreak tweak. It allows you to whitelist applications so that they are able to appear in the app switcher. Apps that aren't whitelisted don't appear in the app switcher, even if you have them running. So you can see here, I have a list that I could choose from and I'm just going to enable the app store. So how about that? And Cydia as well. I think actually Cydia is already enabled. So I have those two apps here. I have obviously the settings app is running right now, but watch what happens when I open up the app switcher. Only two apps show, Cydia and App Store because those are whitelisted. Even though settings is open, as you can see here, that's not displayed. So ladies and gentlemen, that has been a look at some of the recently released jailbreak tweaks. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.